All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Shalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So today, what I want to get into is learning how to self-motivate. And I think like a lot of people now more than ever, we're using headphones to motivate us with music. It could be an ebook. It could be uh, motivational speakers, uh, all different types of things, right? But, you know, I grew up kind of in a time where I, you know, I mean, until the Walkman came out in the 80s, really, for the most part, I was working out with nothing. Uh, and I just had to figure out a way, what is going to motivate me? What is going to get me pumped up? But I did it just, just in my head. I didn't need anything else. Not only did I need music or you know, headphones, uh, I didn't need people. I just would go in and just become very excited before I was going to work out, during my workout, and obviously after my workout. And a lot of people I don't think think about, you know, a lot of self-motivation, isn't just about getting prepared to work out. It's a big part of it, there's no question. Even when you're working out, obviously you wanna kick it in the ass. But when you leave the gym, you have to realize you, you, know, you did something that day for your health. That's very self-motivating. And you know, you're helping yourself, you're helping your body um, mentally and physically. You have to think about those things. But the other thing too is back to self-motivation with music and other things. I think what happens with a lot of people when it, when it comes to self-motivating, and again, you know, you can listen to all the music you want. If that gets you hyped up and pumped, that's wonderful. But what I've even realized over the years, listening to a lot of things as well, is sometimes what you're listening to could be beneficial, but after a certain amount of time can bog you down, especially if it's the same type of music. And it almost sets a certain tone or pattern that isn't actually as motivating as it once was. And also listening to other things, instead of helping motivate you, starts to become a distraction. And I see that with myself as well. A lot of times I'll put certain YouTube videos on that I'm listening to and then it'll end and in the middle of my workout, I'm like, oh, what am I trying to figure out all these things? Again, you know, if you have an opportunity just for a day or two or maybe even a week, don't listen to anything. Just go and work out. I don't care if you're in a gym, because a lot of times gyms are already playing music. It may be music you don't like, but, or if you're doing any type of exercise, really just learn how to mentally prepare yourself without any distractions. Like I shut off everything when going to the gym, just thinking about what my workout's going to be like. And then in the gym, I don't even put my headphones in. I'm totally concentrating on what I'm doing, focusing in either on myself or if I have a partner, kind of like helping them or them helping me, spotting them. And then when I leave, kind of really concentrate on what, what did I really accomplish? What, what worked? What didn't work for me? And I am going to wrap it up with this. If you do play sports a lot of times, and if you need music or a lot of things to get you hyped up and stuff, and then say now you can't use those devices, it could be music or whatever, um, and you go to do something and you know, you're on your own. It's just you. You don't have any distractions at all. So how are you gonna perform without something kind of hyping you up or something there to kind of, you know, kind of keep you moving? Which again, I am not against music, so I'm, I wanna make that very clear. I'm not against anything audio-wise. But I do think people need to take in consideration a lot of times you depend on certain things and you, if you don't have those things, then what, right? Then you may not be performing. And also, like I said, as time goes on, what you think may be working for you as far as motivating you, actually, again, may be holding you back. Now, you may not believe that about music, but I got to the point where I was exhausted from music. I used to listen to music so much because I would travel a lot, so I'd be in a car, a rental car, or just listening to it on my phone, and now I'm way more podcast-driven. But after a while, like I said, audio, actually, I realized was not benefiting me. Me going solo and just independent without any distractions, I was starting to get a lot of gains again. Like when I was younger, when I wasn't so caught up with my phone, that could be emails, texting, uh, and all those type of things as well. So maybe just consider not doing anything but concentrating on the workout itself. All right? All right, hopefully you got something out of that. All right? Oh, yeah. There's my buddy. Strong Arm Sports. If you get a chance, check them out. Uh, it's one of my sponsors. They have everything from shirts, pants, workout pants, caps, bags, uh, a lot of different things for men and women. It's awesome. Um, if you get a chance, subscribe. I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you got any comments or questions, please hit me up. I know I come up with these kind of off-the-wall type things for my videos, but I really just want people to 
try things that they may have never tried before. Also, uh, think about things that you know you may be not thinking about. Because I think a lot of us fall in certain ruts and believe it or not, you may be at a point where you just need a break from technology when working out and you might be shocked by kind of canceling everything out, kind of going off the grid to a certain degree uh, and doing something that you never thought about before, especially young people. You probably only grew up with, say, an iPod or an iPhone and you only worked out with music and you kind of canceled everybody out and you may even be working out with people and listening to music and you're kind of distracted as well. Just maybe just clean the slate, start fresh, and just see how it works out for you. All right? All right. Take care, and I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you.